Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a few things to unbox right quick. So, uh, let's get into it. First up, we have this package from Axial Gear. And I think it's just going to be a clip for this guy. Ah, I love how they send it with the tool. So... I also just got this dope-ass bit driver from Good Screw or uh, Get Good Screw. And this thing will spin for days and days and days and days and days and days and days. And days. It's called, this is the Zirconium one. Um, and I happen to have a T6 in there. So, just keeps going, dude. I mean, it's crazy. I want to hold it so I can spin it, but I want to show you how ridiculous it is. Just still going. Anyway, in the meantime, we talk about this clip. Um, it should be a lefty clip for the warning one here. And they always send it with this key ring uh, bit, which is cool. Uh, I like those, but I, I don't like how they, um, you don't get a ton of confidence in the uh, spinning that you're going to be doing. So, it's still going. Like, I tried to wait. It's ridiculous. I mean, did that stop it? Jesus. So on Instagram, they go by Get Good Screw. And I think we're finally at an end here. Um, get Good Screw. And they kind of have a cyberpunk vibe going on. You can see here, uh, it just stopped. Jeez, man, that's crazy. Um, and this one's all black zirconia, but they usually do like crazy colors. There's no, like, wiggle or anything in this cap. There is a sort of, like, cap to the cap. Um, but I took that off, and there's just, like, a screw in there. You don't see the bearings or anything. So, anyway, point being is I can palm this a little better than that, and then I can get good torque. Well, thought I could. Is this the wrong screw? I'm confused. T8. That's not a T8. Interesting. All right. Uh, crap. It seems like... I mean, I know that's a T6, so I don't know what's going on. Is this stripped? The screw stripped from factory, or... So it's coming loose with that. Why wasn't it working with this? I want to be clear here. It wasn't the driver, obviously. It's the bit. The bit looks solid. Yeah, it feels solid in there. I don't know why it didn't want to... Well, now I got it stuck in there. All right, well, anyway. Um, let's get this guy out of here. So that's the righty clip. Now we're going to have a lefty clip on here. Drop this guy in. Push it in there. What the heck? Is this thing magnetic? It's magnetic? Why is it magnetic? How is that magnetic? That's crazy. I don't know if it's magnetic because the that driver was on it for a little bit, but and that's why I don't like using this because I can't just spin it. 
see it wanted to come out of there too, so hang on. Yeah, you can get pretty good torque with that. Jesus. I think that bit just sucks. The screw is terrible. Um, the clip, what I'm worried about is it being too tight and then... Nope, it's pretty good. So we now have the lefty Warney DLC axial gear shift, which is awesome. And then I usually just put these clips with the, uh, I'll put it in the box so that I can keep it together with it. You know what I mean? Um, it's usually the way I do it. And I don't know what I'll do with this. It's kind of dumb, but I put it in here. I mean, I don't think it's dumb. I just think, for my purposes, because I have bit drivers, um, I don't really need that. So, Anyway, put that aside, and then we'll unbox the next stuff with um, that. So this one here is from Grimsmo Knives. So this is actually a Saga pen I ordered. So let me do this off camera, because my info is on there. Thank you, Team Grimsman. All right. So, here we have a package wrapped in Grimsmo paper. Ooh, a new case. Look at that. So, uh, my buddy Joe has one of these, and I got to handle it, and he has the wood box, but his is all wood. This is just sexy. Look at that. Sexy magnet. It's plastic, obviously, but it's thick plastic. And, boink. Nice magnet on there. And what I wanted was a blue Saga pen. And I think that's what I got. I mean, it's a, it's a lighter blue. A little, you know, a little purple in there, but it's okay. Ooh, nice spring in there. So it comes with uh, an extra thing of... You can do blue or black ink, obviously. Uh, I do not like any of this Schmitz crap. So what I'm going to do is zoink, shut that. I'm going to grab the cartridge that I had out because this is what I had in the Saga pen that my buddy Joe, shout out to Joe, he uh, loaned me his for a little bit. I just gave it back and I left that out because I gave it back because I had bought this one. Uh, yeah. It's just such a cool pen in my uh, opinion. This one right here is Saga number 3163. And the difference between mine and uh, the other ones I've seen like Joe's is they anodize the clip too. His is all plain tie. And then just blue on the uh, ring here, the mechanism. But this one's blue on the clip. And actually, today I was talking to Sean. Shout out to Worthington EDC. He uh, is a good friend of Backpack Bees. And he was looking for a Saga pen. And I saw a couple on the Grimsmo website, so I sent him a link. Um, they dropped these, uh, it seems like, pretty routinely on their website because... I got this one last week. Is that a little bit of green? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I got this one last week on there. This was $3.25, by the way, for a pen. Um, but, yeah, I saw a couple today. One was just plain tie with blue, I think. The clip, I think, was plain tie. And that was $300. So um, there was two available on there. So they do drop a couple, it seems like, every week. Uh, or every few days, they drop a couple on their site, and you can just go pick them up. I'll put a link below. You just go to Shop and then Saga, uh, and they're available right away. Uh, you can sign up for their list 
for Maker's Choice. Um, I'm signed up for that as well as the Rask one, but uh, these actually show up occasionally, which is nice. So we have our Axial Shift. We have our Grimsmo Saga. Check this stuff out. And then we have this package coming from, oop, my address, coming from Tri-State River Valley Creations, which is going to be Tri-State EDC and his wife, Kara, who do stickers. They're doing stickers now. And somebody, me, got a whole bunch of them. So let's check them out. Look at that. I'm putting them all upside down, too. It's perfect. They're all smaller than I thought, but that's okay. Lefty, thank you so very much for supporting TRC. Your support means the world to Cole and I. Kara and Cole. Better packaging coming soon, okay? Cool, cool, cool. But I like how you, you put them all separately. That's awesome. These are going to go in my um, sticker bin up there. I've been giving away stickers like crazy because I knew these were coming. Uh, but yeah, they're basically like sticker mule over there now. And it's awesome because... I always order from Sticker Mule, but they do like deals where it's like 50 bucks for, um, let's check out their sticker. It's like 50 bucks for, uh, you know, uh, or 30 bucks for 50 stickers, right? But I want to get more, you know what I mean? Uh, these are very thin, so we'll see how the others feel, but, uh, some lefty EDC cutouts like that. And stickers don't need to be large. So these are the ones I'm most excited about. These are the Dead Nuts stickers. <laughs> and basically, I took one of my emojis. Shout out to Backpack B for creating it. And I had stickers made of the emojis. Check this out. I got like 100 of them, I think. So uh, they're two-inch squares, and they say Dead Nuts. And uh, I love that. You guys know whenever a uh, knife has good centering... I say it is dead nuts centered. So that's where that comes from. Then we have some, uh, these have my logo or my address on it as well. So I don't want to just show that off, but uh, these are just some uh, address labels. I wanted these because I send stickers out and then I have to write my whole address out every time. And I just thought this would be easier. Then we have some Detent Diva ones. Yeah. Oop, ripped the bag. Oh, well. We have some Detent Diva ones here. Uh, check that out. Little two-inch circles. Oh, there's different colors. So we have a stack of purpley ones. And Cole and I were kind of going through the colors, uh, trying to figure out what's best. And I said, just do what you think. And I guess he tried a couple I think I do like the bluey ones, the bluey ones, the best. So there those are. And then we have some with like a gray color as well. So we have three different baller ass Detent Diva stickers. Next, we have just lefty stickers. Check it lefty edc so very much like this um uh, and i actually like this size better because honestly these big ass stickers are annoying kind of i was trying to find somewhere to put a sticker the other day and i had no room because i had put like three other stickers on the side of this thing and they just take up so much space like it's not like you're putting them on something huge right so i think this is cool i think i got a hundred of these uh, or no, I got 200, so this might be the same. Yep, so these are the same. I like how they package them all separately by the 100. Like, just made it easy for me. I'm probably going to chuck them all in the same pile, but still. So we, I think we have uh, around 200 right there. OCD's kicking in here. i got to even those out. 
And then lastly, we have some ball sack stickers. Ba bow <laughs> Yes. Yeah, you know I did it. You know I did it. I think there's supposed to be like 60, but I don't feel 60. I feel like 20. Maybe it was just a test run we did. I can't remember, man. I talked to them about doing so many different ones. Um, these are hairy ball sacks. So these are going to be coveted, guys. They might just have to go to uh, people who win giveaways on Lefty Live or something. But... Here's a lot of stickers, right? I really like these, by the way. I'm glad I did a, a hundred of these or whatever I did because it's a lot. Um, all of this was like, I think it would have been like 85 bucks. So originally I wanted 200 of these, 60 of these. And I think 60 of these. And it... I forget what what I all asked for, and it was like, you know, uh, 65 bucks. And I was like, hey, I'll give you 100 you know. Just figured I'd, you know, it was seemed like such a deal. And then I added the ball sacks and the address label. I ended up paying, I think, 115 total for all of this. And, again, if we go back to Sticker Mule here, 30 bucks on their deal gets you 50 stickers right now these are a little thicker and they're probably you know gonna last a little longer maybe and all that but for our purposes here we don't need you know and they're this i'm like their first customer or one of the first so they're upgrading materials and stuff they have a baller printer so it's gonna get better uh i was kind of a test customer but like all of this right here at sticker mule I would have spent like 300 bucks, I think. You know, I got like 500 stickers here. Um, I don't know if that's accurate, but, um, you know, we got 200, 100, so that's 300. And then, uh, oh yeah, I think there's like 100 of these. Yeah, it's somewhere around 400 or 500 stickers. Um, and that was 115 bucks. So it just, it makes sense. So, what I'm trying to point out, guys, is go check them out. Uh, Tri-State River Valley Creations on Instagram. They have an Instagram page for it. You can always hit up Cole, uh, Tri-State EDC. And um, there's the information right there. Um, I can highly recommend. I think if you have a business of some kind or a channel or whatever and you just want to get some swiggity swag, you don't want to spend a fortune you know what i mean um then this makes perfect sense to to go ahead and order from them yeah i mean they're not perfect you can see a little bit of a a, a tab here where they cut them um but i don't see why that would matter i'm guessing when you take the sticker part off it's gonna that part's gonna peel um or whatever so i don't know or that could have been part of the design for all i know um these, I believe, are just going to be circles. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that's baller right there. Um, same with that and that. And then these are going to be the address labels. So I'm really uh, happy that I, I uh, listened to Cole when he, he was telling us in a group, like, hey, we're doing stickers. I was like, boom. I'll take 200 of these. I'll take 100 of these. I'll take 100 of these. And I went a little bit nuts. And uh, I'm probably going to get more <laughs> more nuts. So, um, shout out to Cole and Kara. Thank you, guys. That's what I meant to say the whole time instead of rambling. I love y'all. And um, I love Axial Gear, guys. You can go to their website and use code LEFTY10 at checkout. You'll get 10% off your order on a badass American-made OTF. I mean, the pricing on these is incredible for what you get. I've said it multiple times. They are better than microtech in my opinion in terms of aesthetic in terms of build in terms of not having stupid glass breakers and then the price is a hundred bucks less or more so check them out uh again lefty tenant checkout and then this baller ass grimsmo knives saga uh pen is awesome so a uh, really cool mail call here guys i'm really excited to use this day to day uh, i've been using my 
Urban Survival Gear Tie Scribe Mini Go. And this thing is awesome. I also have a EP1 pen from Refine. So uh, I'm a pen guy. And um, yeah, I love you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you going to get some stickers from um, Tri-State River Valley Creations? It's a mouthful. It's hard to say, but um, I have to keep looking at it when I say it. Tri-State River Valley Creations. Uh, TRC, baby. TRC, is that what they're going by? I hope. TRC or TRVC? I don't know. Anyway, I love them. I love you guys. And I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you on the flip side. Maybe you can get a ball sack sticker if you're lucky. Maybe you can get a ball sack if you're lucky. Peace!